Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I wanna show you guys is when I receive a notification on my phone um, of when I made a sale, what I do, how I package it, and how I ship it, and the whole process. So yeah, let's get right into it. When I receive the notification on my phone, I open it up and I look at the product that was sold. Uh, this time it was this book. Oh, upside down. It's a dog man book. Uh, my son was reading it. He finished it, loved it. And it's in great condition. So I was like, why not? Let's sell it. <laughs> I then go to where I have all of my supplies and products. Uh, and I look at the poly mailers right now. I just have these two sizes. So obviously the book will not fit in this one. It'll fit better in this one. And I do that. So now I want to show you the process that I go through to... Uh, packing it <laughs> so i bought a scale um it's actually an amazon product i bought it on amazon what i do i just put my products in there like so uh, make sure the scale is on and you have to weigh your product uh with the poly mailer on because it does add a little extra weight and right now this is saying it's one pound and 4.9 ounces. So I log into Amazon Seller Central. Here's my open orders. I have one. I go up here to the side, go to manage orders. And from here, it'll tell me the book and everything. So you can buy shipping directly on Amazon. It makes it easier for me. Um, that's the only time I've never bought it from a third party company, but you can. It's There's one called Pirate Ship that I've heard about. That's pretty good as well, but um, it's easier to buy it here. So what you do is you go to buy shipping and then you put in the dimensions of your poly mailer. So I would do that. Uh, this poly mailer, it says it on here like the dimensions. So this one is length 11 and 8.5 and height one, just put one, apply. And we had said it was 1.49, I believe, 1.49. And from here, it'll tell me how much um, the shipping will cost me. So right now, it'll cost me just $3.49. Um, but you can use other, you know, processes. It'll get there faster, if anything. But we're just going to use that one. And you select by shipping. So uh, for here, it's supposed to say brother printer, but I have to use another computer for that. Um, and I print in landscape form. So I will show you now how I enter my shipping labels um, into my printer. So these are the shipping labels that I use. They're from Avery, the brand Avery, 5126. There are two labels per sheet, so that makes it so much easier. Um, so I really like these. So what I do is I put it upside down. I open my printer, put it in there, close. So now that I printed the shipping label, you see it's on one side, which is perfect. So I could use this one for um, a later order. I just go ahead and I usually, which I just do what I usually do. I always take out the um, item. Put it flat. Ooh, don't want to show people's addresses. And I just put it on. You see? Put it on here, nice and neat. Now I have these little um, stickers that I use. Um, they say please leave a review i don't know if you can see it and this other one says thank you for your order now up to you if you want to do it but i think it's cute so quick normal put it in so 
little bit nice. I take my little stickers. I put the please leave a review on the back. And then I put the thank you one on the front. Voila. Yeah, so that's my process uh, after this. I'm just gonna go, well, for this case, it's the post office. You can use UPS, FedEx, but whichever one you bought the shipping from, that's where you go. Make sure you drop it off to the right spot. Um, but hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did and got anything out of it, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you can get more from me. I'm going to be posting more and I'm gonna get better with editing these videos and doing better. Um, so yeah, see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.